bad. Sit. This is a company function. Well, that's funny because I didn't seem to get an invite. Still, not to worry, I've got a thick skin. Father, you are going to be so proud of me. I've toughened up just for you, just so that I could come home during this season of giving. Deserve. You think you can outrun me, Sid? Huh? Ask this if you can outrun me. What? No, wait, let me spoil it for you. Ah. Uh, outlook, not so good. You and I are both educated men. And we both know there's been some questionable things done in the name of the war on terror. On our side, I mean. Our enemies don't have that moral dilemma. It's what separates us from them. And I'm sure you'll agree that torture is unacceptable, whether we do it directly or through some foreign proxy. Either way, it's unacceptable. It's proven to yield unreliable information, and, and it undermines everything we stand for. So I created this program as an alternative. The methods are humane. And the results are 100% reliable. Just as you volunteered your information for this report, our subjects give up theirs. Of course, the role of the interrogator is still a very important one. That's why you're here. But as you're about to see, that role has changed. Let me show you what I'm talking about. These need to be analyzed for the board meeting tomorrow. Good morning, Jennifer. You look lovely today as usual. No offense, sir. You gotta be kidding. If you can't handle it, just say so. I'll find someone else to do it. No, I can handle it. God, I hate him. How about a story about a princess and her father, the king, who loves her very much? Daddy, your female characters come off a little superficial. Well, not this one. Because this story, the princess was the most beautiful in the whole world. Really? What did she look like? Well, she had beautiful long brown hair, gorgeous hazel eyes, and her smile. It was just about the most precious anyone had ever seen. One day, when she was all grown up, her prince did come and made her the happiest princess in the whole land. Uh, I'm gonna put her at the West Coast Relatives table. Cool, cool, that just leaves us with a spot to find for Mark. Who does he know? Uh, no one. He uh, woke up this morning after being in a coma since 1987. Oh. Okay, uh, could we squeeze him at a table with one of your coworkers? Uh, I mean, all those guys talk about his basketball, but Mark won't know any of the players. Most of them weren't even born when the air conditioner fell on his head. Who shrunk this television? We could put him on our table? Okay, well, to be honest, we're not that close. Like, I've hung out with him a few times, helped the orderlies trim his nails and stuff, but I've never had, like, a real conversation conversation. But he has family. That's true. Right? Hey, Hi. Uh, Cousin Mark. Who are you people? Cool. Yeah, that's that's good. What are we gonna do? Oh, man. Oh, why don't we put him at the coma patient's table? 